Uh, the title is Towards Expensive and Adaptive uh, and Adaptive Hard Negative Mining Graph Contrast Learning with uh, Subspace Preserving. My presentation is organized in three parts, and I will start with a little bit back background. Graph data is everywhere in our real life and on the website, uh, such as trade flows, social networks, and so on. Unlike common deep learning models that are suitable for processing uh, data with fixed structures uh, like image or, te or, te or text, uh, GNN is designed for uh, data with graph structures. GNN are typically used to process attribute graphs. Uh, two classic works uh, are GCN and GAT. Uh, their uh, forward, forward propagation formulation is on the uh, top right corner. And there are on uh, there are also many other uh, gene architectures. Uh, they are all based on message passing mechan uh, mechanism and has uh, a general a general pipeline uh, as shown on the uh, bottom of the slides. Uh, besides, contrast learning uh, has uh, received SOTA results in many fields. Uh, we all know it, and there's no need to get into the details. Uh, the core of contrasted learning uh, lies in learning representations uh, that are uh, retain invariance under uh, under data uh, data augmentations. Uh, famous works are Simclear, Monco, and so on. Uh, breakthroughs in contrasted learning in areas such as CV and NLP has motivated uh, research to e extend similar concepts uh, to graph data. Uh, we call it graph contrasted learning. Uh, furthermore, uh, graph contrast learning have also uh, achieved SOTA performance uh, in many tasks on, on graph level tasks and uh, node level tasks uh, in a period of time. Uh, we here focus on the node level tasks. Uh, representative, uh, a representative work is great, uh, is great uh, and we regard it as our baseline. Uh, from contrasted learning to graph contrasted learning, we uh, uh, there may be two main changes. One is the augmentation on the graphs, uh, like uh, addition and deletion uh, of uh, nodes and edges, uh, which are different from uh, images or texts. Uh, the other is the uh, change of contrastive loss uh, according to its uh, message passing mechanism. Uh, since uh, the backbone in CV and NLP are, 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 not, uh, are not doing message passing. Uh, our work focus on the latter. Uh, next, we introduce our method. We start from an empirical study. We show that uh, more, more expensive and adaptive Hard, hard negative mining is promising for enhancing uh, node level graph, graph contrastive learning. Uh, split, specific, uh, especially if the neighbors are directly used as the uh, if, if the neighbors to an anchor are directly used as uh, positive samples to this anchor, uh, it does not result in a significant performance, uh, as shown in the uh, one hop two hop and three hop. Uh, however, uh, it, it does not uh, result in significant uh, performance improvement. Uh, however, when we use uh, expensive hard negatives, uh, as shown in uh, one hop, two hop, three hop uh, with star, uh, its performance improves uh, significantly. Uh, besides the uh, variation uh, the variation of si similarity between different hops and uh, its anchor and its anchor points shows the uh, close neighbors of our anchor are difficult to be pushed away uh, as, as shown in the figure. Uh, as you can see, when we point the parameter lambda to uh, strengthen the push, uh, when we, uh, when we, when we, uh, when we small this lambda, uh, and uh, the push is strengthened is, oh, and we strengthen the push. Uh, the uh, the near neighbors were not pushed away. Uh, the above two experiments inspire us to mine hard negatives in an 
expansive and adaptive scope. Uh, our method is simply called GRIP. Uh, beyond graph homophily, ho uh, we employ subspace preserving techniques to remedy this issue. The principle behind it is uh, to mine uh, to mine hard negatives across the entire subspace, uh, rather than limiting it in uh, into the neighbors based on uh, graph structures. Uh, we follow the definition of linear subspace preserving, uh, which is definition one. And uh, we hope to find consistent subspace, subspaces across all layers in the training. Uh, Elastic Connect is used for uh, sparsity and uh, connectivity. And the uh, optimization problem is formulated on the slide. Uh, there we can define uh, self-representation based hard negative sets, uh, which is definition two. Uh, after that, we can compute the uh, uh, self-representation-based -represent hard negative sites according to its definition, uh, which is theorem one. Uh, and it's intuitive. In other words, uh, nodes with high similarity to the anchor uh, to the anchor ratio vectors are selected uh, as hard negatives, uh, which is uh, which which is the terms inside. And we try. We also tried three parameter schemes to reduce co uh, computational complexity, uh, which includes uh, four para, MLP para, and in attention para. Uh, they can balance efficiency and uh, effectiveness. The learned self representation coefficients are then mapped into uh, probabilities uh, that reflects the probabilities to an uh, of a node to uh, be, of a node being uh, the hard negatives to an anchor. The pipeline is on the slide, is shown on the slides. Uh, and and the re revised contrasted laws can be computed and back propagated. Uh, here, L, L mask is just mask some, uh, mask some hard negatives uh, with certain probability. And L pulse is just uh, treat them as uh, as as positives with some, uh, with certain probabilities. Uh, we also explain why grip works theoretically. First, it captures uh, samples outside of the message passing, uh, which is important. Uh, second, it contributes to uh, interspace separation and intraspace cohesion. Uh, we here give the pro uh, proposition why. Third, it brings a tighter mutual information lower bound estimation. But besides, it's, uh, it, uh, it has connections with several traditional machine learning, machine learning methods uh, like, uh, like their uh, latent subspace, LLE, and graph attention. Uh, finally, we show our experiments. Compared with several advanced graph contrasted learning methods, GRIP shows great uh, performance on eight widely used public graph data sites, uh, as you can see on the top of this, this slide. Uh, and as you can see below, the, the hyperparameters uh, used are also stable, uh, which you can see across eight, eight, eight graph data sites, we only, uh, we only select two or three values for each hyperparameters. Uh, besides, we can conduct uh, comprehensive experiments and a various sighting to thoroughly analyze the results uh, and the behaviors of grape. Uh, for for example, in our toy in our toy experiments, uh, we select we randomly select one class in the core data sites, and uh, uh, the illustration results show grape can achieve uh, great separation uh, of uh, positives and negatives step step in the training uh, like uh, the three figures this is uh, the first is apple zero the second is apple 50 the, the third is apple 100. Uh, when we use two matrix cohesion and uniformity 
uh, gra uh, grip has uh, grip has significant boost to its baseline grace. Uh, as we can see, the uh, the cohesion is uh, largely improved, uh, which means our method grip can uh, uh, which our, means our method grip learns better category embeddings. Uh, in addition, we have tried convergence experiments, uh, node clustering experiments, experiments with different uh, parameter schemes, and uh, experiments on hetero het heterophilic graphs. Uh, all these exper e experiments show our method has super superior performance. A uh, parameter study uh, demonstrated that our method grip scales well. Uh, and the different parameter settings. Uh, that's all for my presentation. Thank you all.